Hello, welcome to my channel today. If this is the first time of joining us, thank you for clicking today's. Ensure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Or if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for your support. Now, I want to continue on our series on our cash book. Cash book. Now, we saw our introduction video where we introduce um, cash book and also um, what um, the types of cash book we have. Okay, we explain the theoretical aspect of the single column, um, the double column, and the three column cash book. Now, I want to say a question relating to the single column cash book. Okay, now the question said, Mr. Peter began to sell Vono, Mrs. Peter began to sell Vono mattresses with 500 naira cash as her capital on 20th January 2000. Now, these are the dates. 20th January 2000 purchased 10 mattresses at 4 naira each and 10, 10 mattresses at 3 naira each in cash. 21st January 2000 sold 10 mattresses at 3 naira each in cash. 22nd January 2000 bought 12 mattresses at 3 naira, 3 naira 50 kobo each. 23rd January sold 10 mattresses in cash for 28 naira. Now 24th January 2000 paid 2 naira in cash on transport. 24th January 2000 sold 6 mattresses at 3, or 3 naira 50 kobo each in cash. 25th January 2000 sold the remaining mattresses in cash for 30 naira. 25th January 2000 paid 1 naira 50 kobo in cash as delivery charges for mattresses to our customers. On 26th of January 2000, paid in cash, four naira on rent required. Enter the transactions in the cash book and ledger. Now we have done explain the single column cash book. Please and please, if you have not seen that video, please watch it up here or in my description, okay? That will ensure you understand what we are talking about a single column cash book whereby I treated the um, cash book introduction. Okay, we saw the specimen and the format. Okay, now said so the cash book is well record all cash transaction. If you notice here, all things that are here are what are the cash transaction. So we are going to start. <clears throat> the owner of the business is Mrs. Peter. Mrs. Peter. So right, cash book. So I have this particulars, folio and cash. And this is the middle. I have this particulars, folio and cash. So we can have this here. We can have particulars. We can have folio and cash. I have dates here. I have particulars, folio, and cash. And this is a credit, and this is a debit. Okay, so we are going to start now. It said Mrs. Peter began to sell Vodou mattresses with 500 naira cash as her capital on 20th January. So we said the capital, the money used in starting of the business, is known as capital. A money and a retailer use the starting of the business is known as what capital. So in the cash book, the capital is used at at the beginning, using starting of the business. So it should be debited. Okay? So we have on as a January here, yeah, 20th. 20th January. So we have capital. The cash, the amount is 500 okay the amount is 500 so we're done with that now move to the test on the 20th of january it said purchase 10 mattresses at four naira each and 10 uh, mattresses at three naira each in cash purchase now purchase another name for purchases is goods bought for resale 
okay or the mineral purchases is goods bought for resale now this is what she deals with that is vendor mattresses that is her business so definitely he started with this but he she noticed that the goods she had in stock probably would not be enough so she has to buy others she has to buy more from the world wholesalers okay and they are saying she purchased 10 mattresses at funera each so we are going to come here and say on the 20th that's m 20th purchases so we said 10 mattresses mattresses at four naira each so it is 10 times 4 which is what 40 okay and also the next one 10 mattresses also at three naira each so on that same date purchases three times ten also is what 30. so we are done with that the next one on the 21st january he said sold 10 mattresses at three naira each in cash so he sold 10 mattresses so we'll come here since they said sales it means that she made sales and she's receiving cash that is the principle of the cash book we said we debit what is received the value in cash that is received and you credit the value in cash that is going out so since they say sold the mattresses at three naira each in cash it means once she sold it that goose is going out but the money is coming in our interest in the cash book is where is the money going? Is the money coming in or going out? So, since you sold 10 mattresses at 3 naira each in cash, the money is coming in. Okay? So, if the money is coming in, so it should be debited. So, we'll write here the date on the 21st. Sales. The particulars will be sales. Okay, it was sold. 10 mattresses at 3 naira each. So, it is 10 times 3, which will give us 30. Okay? So, next one will come here bought 12 mattresses at 3 naira 50 kobo each now mind you they said enter the charge in the cash book and the letter now we're supposed to be opening each of them now let's do we're supposed to be opening each of the ledger okay so but we'll do that after we're done with the cash book now they said on the 22nd bought 12 mattresses at 3 naira 50 kobo each so since they said bought the money is going out so right here on the 22nd they said bought 12 mattresses so it will be also purchases 12 mattresses at 3 naira 50 kobo so times it 3.50 times 12 we give us 42 okay 42 so that is for that then on the 23rd said sold 10 mattresses in cash for 28 naira each okay so it will not be 10 times 28 so we we'll have here 280 we we'll have here 280 so that is this and the next one paid 2 naira in cash on transport pay 2 naira in cash on transport so probably why she was going to buy those things she has to pay for it for transport okay so definitely it is an expense the money is going out so it should be credited so we'll just check the date here on on 24th on the 24th so right here transport the amount is two naira okay now the next one it said sold six mattresses at 3.15 naira each in cash sold that is another sales so we have 24 here another sales that's six at 3.15 naira each so we have 3.50 times six so that is what 21 okay the next one sold the remaining mattresses in cash for 30 naira sold the remaining mattresses in cash for 30 naira so they said they sold the remaining they didn't say for 30 naira each 
So it is the remaining all that was sold. So that's another sales at 30 naira on 25th. Okay. The next one on that same 25th paid 1.50 naira in cash as delivery charges for mattresses to a customer. So he paid to the what the um, delivery expenses to deliver the what the mattress to our customer. So it will not be the money is going out. So on the 25th, it is delivery charges at 1.50. Okay. At 1.50. The next one is they said on the 26th of January 20, 2000, paid in cash for Nera on rent. So she also paid another rent for Nera. Okay, just single rent. Paid in cash um, for Nera for rent. So that is on the word 26th. So I have rent for Nera. Okay, so that is that. So we have to balance these accounts now. Now, balancing these accounts now, we have to check the debit and the credit, which is greater. Okay, if the debit is greater than the um, credit, we we'll have a balance carried down. Okay, at the what the credit side. Why, if here is greater than this, we also have another balance word carried down. We have to check the total. So let's add up the debit side to see what is the total. So we have 500 plus. 30 plus 280 plus 21 plus 30 that will give us 861 so this is 861 now let's add up the credit side 40 plus 30 plus 42 plus 2 plus 1.50 plus four is 119,000, 119.5. So it means here is greater than this. So we are gonna get a balance that would make them to be the same. Normally in accounting terms, this and this, the total is supposed to be what the same. So since this side is greater than this, there's what we call a balance carried down. That is on the 31st. That's all called balance carry down. The balance carry down is the difference between the total of this and this. Okay, so that it will add up. So one one eight six one minus one one nine five will give us seven four one point five. So that when you add everything together, it will give you the same total, which is eight six one eight six one. So that is our balance carry down. So at the new month, which is February 1, it is now brought down for the new month as balance brought down 741.5. So that becomes the what the balance for the cash. Okay, so that's the cash book. Now they said and the ledgers, and it's other um transaction, other ledgers. So what we're gonna do is to prepare is to what to post at a corresponding entry where most of this item what would be so we can put here the purchases the purchases account the purchases account the main purchases the first one was on the 20th on the 20th cash 40 you see, that was why when we treated double entry, we said um, in every transaction, two accounts is affected. Okay, that's double entry principle states that for every debit entry, there's a what? There must be a corresponding credit entry and vice versa. So the cash, um, the purchases that was credited there, the corresponding entry comes to the purchases account. So also on the that same 20th, cash of 30. And another um, purchase is on the 22 as cash of what? 42 naira. Okay? So the next one is transport. So we have transport. Transport. 
It's transport, I have cash here. So it becomes on the 24th. I have cash of two naira, okay, of two naira. Another one is delivery charges. Delivery charges. So I have delivery charges. So delivery charges. The corresponding entry comes here on the twenty fifth. So I have cash as 1.50 okay so another one is rent rent so we have here on the 26th we have cash of four naira. okay then also we have capital Capital was debited there, so the corresponding entry will be credit. Okay, so it is on the 20th as cash 500. Why last one is a so the sales. Has debited here in the cash book, so the corresponding entry will come here. So, uh, 21st year cash 30. We well, have 23rd year same cash as 280. We have 24th year another cash as 21. I also have on the 25th year another cash as what? 30 okay so to close this account as well called closing of accounts we don't just leave like this we have to close it okay so the same way we did for for the cash book so i'm going to add up here so 40 plus 30 is um 70 plus um 42 is 112 i guess 70 plus 42, 112. So I'm going to write balance carry down as 112. Okay? So that it balance there. So this balance will be brought here now as balance brought down for purchases. Okay? And also the cash will close here also as balance carry down 2 naira. Okay? 2 naira. So delivery expenses also close as balance carry down 1.50. Okay, for rent, we also do the same. Balance carry down 4 naira. For capital, also do the same as balance carry down 500. That's how we close. Then for sales here, I'll add up now 280. Plus 21 plus 30. 20 plus 21 plus 30 plus 30. 21 plus 30. So we have 361. So we now have our balance carried on as 361. So 361. So the balance brought down over here as 361. Okay, now this will not be the total sales if there was no credit sales. It will not be the total sales that would be what, um, used for trading profit or loss account. Okay, this will not be the purchases if there was no credit purchases. Okay, so this is how to prepare the single column cash. If you notice, it's a single column for only cash. That's what we call a single column cash. Okay, thank you very much. Please ensure you like comment in this video and share okay please if you have not subscribed please subscribe to this video thank you very much